Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Foley High School Creed. I am a Foley Lion. I stand for honor, integrity, and pride. I will serve with strength and courage. I will own the path to my future. I will hold myself to a higher standard. I will strive for excellence in all I do. This is my oath. This is my pledge. I am a Foley Lion. Good morning, Foley High School. My name is Jordan Dre. Today is Monday, December 2nd, and it's Gold Day. We got some announcements for you today, so listen up, because this is the Lion Pride News. Good morning, Foley High School. My name is George Oss. Here today is birthdays. Happy birthday to Virginia Torres Campos and Deshaun Evans. Have a great day and a happy birthday. This is Blake Sawyer, and the thought of the day is by Plato. Kindness is more than deeds. It is an attitude, an expression, a look, a touch. It is anything that lifts another person. With over 100 million copies of the Bible are sold each year, the Bible is the best-selling book in history with total sales exceeding 5 billion copies. Find out what all the fuss is about. Come take the Bible as Literature Elective and read it for yourself. In this class, we'll study the language used in the Bible, the authors of the books of the Old and New Testaments, the historical events documented in the Bible, as well as many other interesting concepts. Sign up in Ms. Faison's room 810 to take this elective next year. Be sure to have an open mind. Did you know about over 600,000 people die of heart disease in the United States every year? That's one in every four deaths. A high school volleyball game is underway outside Atlanta. The play is intense, but friendly. Then a moment of utter horror. A senior suddenly collapses. You can actually hear the thud as she hits the hardwood floor. She lies there, lifeless, as everyone runs to her side. The teen is in full cardiac arrest. One coach performs CPR, but it's not working. It's looking grim for 17-year-old Claire Crawford. Then somebody rushes in with a defibrillator. There it is. It's in the black box. Sure enough, you can see Claire's body jolt from the electric charge. Julie Sermons is the quick-thinking school administrator who used the defibrillator. Life started to come back um, in her, and it was, it was wonderful to see. And this is Claire today. It's a miracle. Claire says she was feeling fine during the volleyball play. Just seconds before she passed out, the ball came her way, and she gives it a good whack. But then, something goes wrong. She's in distress and clutches her heart, then collapses. Can you tell us what your symptoms were? I had pain down my left arm, and my heart felt like it was working really hard. But I just assumed I was out of shape. Claire's mom, Lisa, was in the stands watching the volleyball game. We were just desperately praying. It was four and a half minutes. I mean, it was a long time to watch them doing compressions, and definitely we thought we'd lost her. Here's a defibrillator similar to the one that saved Claire's life. Analyzing heart rhythm. So it tells you everything. Yes. Do it, not touch the patient. Step by step, it will tell you exactly what to do. If it says stand clear, don't touch. This is one team who is truly lucky to be alive. Claire, how are you feeling now? Feel good. Better than before. <laughs> 
This week, FHS has hoops for hearts. Friday night, our basketball teams will honor those who suffer from heart-related illness by partnering with peer helpers to support the American Heart Association. Listen all week and check signs in the hallways for details. We will have opportunities at lunch Wednesday through Friday for you to show your support. We will also sell early tickets slash bracelets for Friday night's games. Plan to be there to white out the Torres Friday night at 4.30, 6, and 7.30. Once again, Foley High School collected a great deal of food to support our community with the turkey takeout and other food pantry services. Our schools collected hundreds of food items. We are excited to announce the following winning classes. In third place, seniors. Second place, juniors. And finally, the winning class with the most food donated is the sophomore class. Peer helpers will contact the class officers for their recognition. We are so grateful for everyone who donated. Our Foley family is the best. Go Lions! The Foley Let It Snow event will be Saturday, December the 7th in Heritage Park. If you're in need of service hours or just want to volunteer, then stop by Miss Smith's room in 706. The two shifts will be 930, which is in need of two volunteers, and 1030 to 3, which is in need of 20 volunteers. This event will take place right after the Christmas parade. So if you're in the parade, just let her know, and you can still volunteer. Kona Ice! Kona Ice will be here Wednesday. They'll be outside of the Niner Hall office through all lunch waves and then move outside the cafeteria until 3.15. Prices of cups are $3 for a small, $4 for medium, and $5 for large. The $5 cup will be able to be refilled for $3 for the rest of the year. There will be an environmental club meeting tomorrow. If you are interested in joining the club, see Ms. Ballstar in room 701. Everyone is invited to join this new club. Juniors and sophomores, you will be able to view your PSAT scores online Monday, December 9th. Please check your Google Classroom or see your counselor to find out how you can take advantage of the many benefits that your participation in the PSAT provides to you. I'm Julian Cruz, and this is the Locker Room Report. The basketball teams will be in action this afternoon at the gym against Pensacola Catholic. The JV boys will start at 4.30, followed by the Varsity Lady Lions at 6, and the Varsity boys will tip off at 7.30. The bowling team will have a home game against the Daphne Trojans at the Golf Bowl around 3. Go out and support. There will be a parent meeting for the golf team Wednesday at 6 in room 607. There will also be a boys soccer parent meeting on Thursday at 5.30 p.m. in the library. A parent needs to be present. And that's all for the locker room report. Have a great day. Today for lunch we have a chicken and waffles, chicken tenders, mini waffles, roasted potatoes, carrots, fruit and juice, and for your fat too long, we have a cheeseburger, french fries, fruit and juice, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a great day for all high school. All right, well, that's all the announcements we have for you today on our Daily Land Pride News. Don't forget that today is Gold Day. Our shout-outs go to Zamaria Thompson and James Wiggins. Have a great day for all high school.